Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. So today we're looking at the week of August the 30th to September the 5th, 2021. We are in the star sign of Virgo, which means that Virgo is governed by the planet Mercury. And because Mercury is direct, until the 27th of September. This is all about realizing how important it is, therefore, to communicate fully and in a way properly this month, because there is no energy present that would keep you from saying the right thing and from expressing yourself properly. <clears throat> so, yeah. I need a coffee and then we start this off by going into the energy or the over energy for the week ahead. You are watching energy and star sign readings with myself Thomas Janak. Now please subscribe, press the like button and share it widely. And if you do enjoy what I'm doing, you can now support me financially by you know donating a fiver or buy me a coffee forward slash mediumthomas.com. Much appreciated because I'm always on the lookout for new um, microphones and stands and all this kind of stuff to make better videos, especially editing software, all that kind of stuff. So would be um, highly appreciated. Anyway, let me just get a coffee and then we go right in. Opted for water instead. <coughs> Let's have a look at the overall energy for the week ahead. Like I said, we're looking at the week of August the 30th to September the 5th. 2021. We have the horse and the golden eagle. <clears throat> what the guides are saying to all of us energetically is, whatever isn't really all that important this week, <clears throat> don't pay much attention to it. Right? So if there's anything where you feel like this is bothering me, um, or this upsets me, if it really isn't all that important in the scheme of things, if it's just some drama, then don't be a part of it, right? And as you remove yourself from situations and maybe people that really aren't uh, for, for you, right? Um, always remember that when, when the universe senses that you are ready for new beginnings, they will send you some, if that makes sense, right? So do not despair. You can see no opportunities coming your way and you will therefore, you know. Um, so the, what I'm trying to say is my feeling is that some of you may feel a bit isolated, maybe even a bit a tad lonely. And uh, all the guides are saying is don't worry. Keep removing yourself from things that you, where you feel this isn't for me. And whenever there's new beginnings in the, in the, in the pipeline, we will let you know. You will see opportunities coming your way. Right? Short and sweet for the overall energy going into the first star sign um, of the week, which is Virgo. Here we go. Virgos, you have the bold, bold, <laughs> bold eagle and the mountain goat. So the message for Virgos this week is to remember just step back, new things are coming your way and you will see the things that are coming your way and whatever you feel at this point in time is extremely difficult is going to be resolved very soon because you have the goat, the mountain goat more specifically. Let me just have a look at the depiction here. Right? And the mountain goat basically depicts an animal that hangs on the cliff on two legs and doesn't fall. Right? So for Virgos, this is also about learning not to panic about stuff, right? Um, you will get there, it's all good. Um, in, in many ways, this is just a confirmation that, that whatever you're going through, you have already reached the peak of its devastation, <laughs> if that makes sense, or, or its difficulties. And, you know, things will resolve <clears throat> very shortly, right? So that was Virgo, going to the next star sign, which is Libra.
Libra. Libra's. You have the blue heron, the arctic wolf and the lynx. What the guides are basically saying to you is, at this point in time, just step back a little and wait for things to come to you rather than chasing them. Right? There is a vulnerability within Libra's at this point in time where you feel like, well, uh, not sure where I'm going or maybe um, don't feel appreciated much. Um, and the point the guides are making here is you're going through healing at this point in time, right? So this is important for you to let that all um, happen, which is why you have the blue heron, which is a bird that, uh, you know, stands in the water on one lake and when the fish comes, he goes, thank you. <laughs> <coughs> so that's the main message. Just, just relax and allow for whatever um, needs to happen with regards to releasing stuff. Um, to let that happen <coughs> and then lastly you have the links which basically denotes you looking for a vantage point in your life so while you're doing nothing <laughs> while you're basically just told to relax um, and they're not, you're not even asked to assess many things but because you have the links which is looking for a vantage point is as you step out of the energies that sort of upset you or the drama that, that can be in your life as you remove yourself from it slightly, <clears throat> that's when you begin to see where life is going and whether or not the people in your life are the people um, that are worth having. Okie dokie. That was Libra going into the next star sign, which is Scorpio. We're looking at the week of August the 30th to September the 5th, 2021. <clears throat> Excuse me. Scorpios, you have the cat and the bear. So healing seems to be quite a big topic here because the bear is all about healing. Remember, remembering to step back a little and allow for healing um, and for clearing of things to happen, which is also why you have as the ingoing or the first incoming energy for this week, <coughs> Scorpios, you have the cat. And the cat, cats are all about independence. They do whatever the heck they want. And we love them for it. <laughs> so that's what the guides are saying to you. Um, you know, do your thing. You know, do do literally do your thing. You know, if, if situations aren't for you, don't hang about and don't don't expose yourself. Um, also have the feeling that sometimes um, your politeness doesn't help you. You know, you 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 listen to situations that you have listened to before, and there's never any change. That kind of stuff. So why hang about and listen to it again? Right? So that's what I'm getting for, for Scorpios. And um, I have to say this, the way this feels to me this week is that um, this is a week where so far the star signs have been asked to actually not do all that much um, and allow for things to clear that can go now, which is really, really perfect because the lighter you are, the easier it is for you <coughs> to um, you know, get on with life. So I have this new thing here, where the, this is supposedly following me, which it does. Sorry, yeah, I'm here. But it, 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 it looks for the, the most light. So, so that's why it sort of goes neep, 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 because there's a window over there. <laughs> so, right, so the, nobody is behind the camera and nobody is drunk here. This is just this awesome thing that is supposed to follow me. Um, trying to focus on where it's supposed to go. So, that was a Scorpio going to the next star sign, Sagittarius. Sagittarians, you have the ocelot, the grey wolf and the turkey. So, here's what that means. Again, just like the star sign before Sagittarius, you also ought to just step back from things a little and maybe look at um, the perspective that you have on life. Where's my life going without judging it? Where's my life going? What feels right and what simply doesn't kind of thing? Because you have the grey wolf as your, your middle uh, energy and your middle animal guide because you have three guides and obviously the wolf is planked and, and, you know, and by the two. And so what they're asking you to realize is unless 
you are in charge of your affairs unless you are in charge of your life. If you listen to other people's advice and then follow their advice fully, um, that, not, that might not necessarily fare that well for you. While, it, while advice is really a good thing to have, the message here is for you to realize be in control of your own life. Right? Don't be, that don't mean this in the wrong way, but this is what I'm getting. Don't be super needy and, and, and think that, that there are always other people that you can ask for advice. Even if you paid for it, even if you, if you went for a reading, eventually um, what the guides are saying to you is, well, you know, there's only so much the guides will tell you in a reading because you are in charge of your life. And you have the turkey as the outgoing energy, which is the message or the, or the symbol for literally being misunderstood. So perhaps you feeling I don't belong, nobody gets me, has to do with maybe the situations or the people around you um, that all affect how you act on things, right? So take a deep breath, see if you can internalize who you are and then just say like, okay, from my own core, from my own internal core, my intuition, that's the place from which to assess my life. Right? Okay, Sagittarius, that was that. Going to the next star sign, which is Capricorn. Let's see what we got for Capricorn. Capricorns, you can take a sigh of relief. <sighs> Because you have the kingfisher and the butterfly. Kingfisher is basically um, one of those birds, no matter how crooked the tree is, the kingfisher can work it. A um, bit like the you know, same message as the hummingbird has. Um, so what the guides are saying is, um, because you have this crooked tree, it feels like you're, you're hoping for some sort of abundance, um, something to come to you. And you know, you will get through this, these barriers of life. You, you're, you're fine. Right? And then you have the butterflies, the outgoing energy, which basically says to you, right, keep going, you're on the right path, you're doing well, and new opportunities will come to you because you're ready for new beginnings. Right? But don't just sit there, if that makes sense, right? Keep working on getting through whatever it is you're getting through without making it a full-time job. Right? So, that was that. <clears throat> that was Capricorn. Next star sign is Aquarius. We're looking at the week of August the 30th to September the 5th, 2021. Here we go. Aquarius. Hmm. You have the Sparrowhawk and the Raccoon. Quite simply for Aquarius, uh, short and sweet, just go with the flow that's all you need to do let's go with the flow and always remember because you adapt so well to situations that's why you are you attract a lot of people who bother you with stuff that they feel you could solve best you're probably by default you know energetically speaking a counselor and a teacher in your life, no matter what you do, people will always find you with their issues. And as nice as this is, because the guides are asking you to take, like the hawk is using the upthrust of the air to glide, <laughs> right? Um, just go with the flow. And But remember this, because you are always there to help, you can't then complain when you are drained because of it. So find a balance between, between resting and giving, right? That was Aquarius going into the next star sign, my own star sign, which is Pisces. Let's have a look what we got for Pisceans for this very week, August the 30th to September the 5th, 2021. Pisceans, we have the opossum and the snowy owl, which means whatever is in front of you, Pisceans, whatever is in front of you right now, you see the world really for what it is. So your assessment of things is right. What might not really be right, and I just say it the way it, it feels to me, is that you, or us Pisceans therefore, sometimes when you feel this isn't quite going where I 
feel it should be going, you just remove yourself. There's a flight thing here. Um, <coughs> and again, it, you know, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm a Pisces, but I don't have <coughs> that flight thing, if that makes sense, for whatever reason. Um, I just, you know, <laughs> go into battle, <laughs> in a way. Um, the point you guys are making is, if you are one of those Pisceans that is looking at situations and you see like, oh, well, that's, that's what I'm seeing here, so therefore that must be true, right? That does not necessarily mean that the response has to be to walk away from it all. It's just what I'm getting for Pisceans for this, for the end of this month, 30th of August to September the 5th. Have a look at how often your flight response kicks in. What is it that makes you, I, I can't deal with this shit. Right? What, what is that? And um, they're not asking you to change your responses necessarily, but they're asking you how helpful is it if um, there's maybe something that, you know, that, that can be learned in these situations and you're just closing all the doors behind you. How much sense does that make? Right, so <coughs> that's all we got for Pisceans. I also noticed that um, the guides for us Pisceans um, were a bit vague, if that makes sense. But it's also important to realize that we have been given free will, so to speak. Oh, ringlets. Right. Um, so, yeah, anyway, that's all I have to say uh, about that. <laughs> that was Pisceans going to the next star sign, which is Aries. Aries. Energetically speaking, it feels like, you know, same shit, different day, right? Always the same routine, always the same stuff, nothing is really changing, la la la. And then what the guides are saying to you, so that was your groundhog, by the way, if the groundhog and the chipmunk, um, like, you know, it's all the same. And then what the, what the guides are saying to you is, stop complaining about it. If you want things to change, change them. Right? And if you feel you can't change them, reach out to people um, who could possibly help you changing things. But sitting there saying like, oh, you know, um, and again, they give me this, you know, from, from the Dreamcatcher movie by Stephen King, same shit, different day, different day as SDD. That's what they're showing me <coughs> because my guides are funny. So what they're saying is don't give in to the same energies all the time and, and be drained by it. Once you have realized something here needs to change, see the changes through right so short and sweet for aries going to the next star sign which is taurus we have taurus gemini cancer and leo left we're looking at the week of august the 30th to september the 5th 2021 here's what we got for taurians well taurians you got the fox and the tiger so what the guides are basically saying to taurians this week is to realize that it is not a mistake to be sensitive. This is just who you are. You are an empath. You are a very sensitive and deep person. And you are a very old soul. So you've been in, in worse situations that you are currently encountering, <clears throat> albeit maybe in a past life. <clears throat> but the, the message to you is to realize that internally, you have a good way of knowing that this is never the end. There's always other things that will happen to alleviate issues, to change situations. Have a little bit of faith that you will get through this because you also have the tiger, which basically is the animal that says, you know, you have an awful lot of, of stamina. So in other words, you know, no offense to, to, to the lions, but if the tiger lives where the lion lives, lives, the lion would possibly not be the king of the jungle because the tiger has an awful lot of strength and stamina, if that makes sense. <coughs> Even though it's a silly comparison because, you know, they live in different places for a reason. Point I'm trying to make is that the tiger is telling you um, to remember and honor your primal power, your stamina. You know, I, I'm, I am strong. I'm getting through things. I don't have to panic. Because, you know, I've been getting through everything thus far. So why would, why would this be different, right? 
All right, that was Taurians. Now we're going into the next star sign, which is Gemini. Gemini's. Awesome. <laughs> you have the crow, crow and the grizzly bear. Grizzly bear. <laughs> what the guys are saying to you is, don't make any long-term plans right now. As a matter of fact, this week, don't make any plans at all because you're in the, in the face of transformation. Whatever you're going through might not be yet fully visible where this is all going. You know, you're still going through a lot of changes and transformation. And because you, you might not be able to fully see where you are heading, why don't you just relax a little bit see how things are panning out and and look at what can go right now. So we had loads of bears here in, in this reading for different star signs, which is all about allowing yourself to be good to yourself and to let healing happen. Okay, so that was uh, Gemini. Going to the next star sign, we only got um, two star signs left, which is Cancer and Leo. Here we're looking at Cancerians. Easy peasy. <laughs> this is, you have the caribou and the hummingbird for Cancerians. And what this really is, this is first and foremost a, um, a confirmation for you to realize that you're not, sounds a bit weird, you're, you're not sinking in. As, as your life gets or stays or remains difficult, if the terrain gets difficult, that makes sense. The, 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 the caribou doesn't sink in because he has a split hook. So the message here for is, if you feel like things are a bit difficult at this point in time, you are at no risk of not figuring things out. And you're not sinking in. Which means you're, you're going through these things at your own pace and you're doing right because you have the hummingbird. I mentioned this bird earlier when the kingfisher showed up. In, uh, for another star sign, um, you're getting through things just fine. Just keep going. Don't panic about anything. And remember that even though it may feel that life is a touch difficult at this point in time, you will just be fine. The trick is to focus on where you want to go and then put that in motion. But don't you don't have to rush anything, right? That was Cancerians going to the very last star sign for the week. We're looking at the week of August the 30th to September the 5th, 2021. Please hit the subscribe button, please like, and please share this widely because if, if, if somehow this does something for you, if you feel like, wow, that really has helped, um, who knows, maybe it'll help others, right? And um, should you like what you see, you see it's all free service and you want to support me financially, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. I put the link into the description box. Would be very much appreciated. So last star sign for the day, for the week, <laughs> Leo. You have the buffalo and the coyote. What that means for Leos this week is to realize you have the right to put people in their place. You also have the right to realize maybe what's going on around me is just a bit too much and maybe not everything that has to, that, that going on around me that I visit, that comes to me, has got anything to do with me. So the buffalo basically is the guy, you know, big territory, you wouldn't mess with one. So, you know, have boundaries this week. Really, really important to have some boundaries. And you have the coyote which is a scavenger, which means, you know, he goes and he finds food for the most part. Oh, my, my leg has fallen asleep. <laughs> um, <ow. clears throat> Where was I? Yeah, coyote. <clears throat> so what the guys are saying to you is while you're then putting boundaries in place where you actually keep some, 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 some energy, some people and situations out, you therefore, they then therefore, um, <laughs> sounds wrong, bother you less so you feel like okay where, where are they going <laughs> if that makes sense <clears throat> so by by putting up boundaries you allow for new situations to take hold new people new positive new positive more positive people coming into your life 
So don't despair. If there is a time where you feel a bit lost yourself because the coyote trusts that when he keeps going, there's always enough food for him. Right? So, um, yeah. Oh, my leg. <laughs> anyway, um, I, better, I better walk for a little bit. Anyway, it's the end of the, of the video. Um, yeah, I said my piece about sharing and liking and buying me a coffee and <laughs> all that kind of stuff. So thank you very much. See you all very, very soon. Bye.